In this project, we're dealing with issues of care fragmentation. For example, if a patient goes to the emergency department, they receive care, but the primary care site might not know what happened. Similarly, if they're admitted to a hospital, a lot of things happen, but information might not flow back very readily to the primary care site. So our goal was to use health information technology to help facilitate information movement. Well, the patients we worked with actually lived in six counties in the northern Piedmont of North Carolina. We had identified about 6,000 patients who had complex health needs. We defined a complex health issue as having two chronic conditions and we drew from a list of conditions that the Institute of Medicine had identified or patients who had a mental health condition or patients with just a single disease that was very intensive such as end-stage kidney disease or patients are on dialysis or sickle cell disease. We were then able to continually monitor if there was any activity within the health system. We did this monitoring by checking something called an ADT feed, admission, discharge, or transfer notifications. And we'd be constantly filtering that information, looking for an event for one of our patients. And once the event was detected, it then set forward the cascade of interventions. The primary part was what we referred to as a care event summary, where we took the information about the event, where it happened, when it happened, who the providers were, and put that into a single document that was sent to the primary care medical home for the patient. The second component was a letter that went to the patient with a brief summary about the care they had received, and then they were instructed to take this letter with them when they had their follow-up care. So it was a second way to try to get that information back to the medical home. The third piece was a notice sent to the assigned care manager for a patient to say that the event had happened and then they could respond by contacting the patient. And the fourth piece was a little different and this piece involved sending a release of information to the place where the care had been delivered and asking that the information be sent to the primary care medical home. In order to ensure the success of the project, three key points had to be put into play within these busy practices. One was that the care event summary had to be received. Two, we wanted to make sure that the care event summary reports were actually integrated within their workflow. And three, we want to make sure that the care event summary reports made it to the care provider. We were sending these reports and we wanted to make sure they were used. And we had to actually go to each clinic and work with the clinic staff to see how that report could be handled and manipulated so it got in the hands of the right person who could then respond appropriately to the care event summary report. We had one individual patient that was in her 20s who had recurrent uh, visits to the ED for her asthma. And so every time she hit the ED, we called her and asked her why she didn't come to us, so it allowed us to break down some barriers that she perceived, allowed us to break down some barriers that she had, utilizing the help of our social worker, and then it also allowed us the opportunity to give her education about her rescue plans or um, things that she needed to do to prevent the emergency room visit. The window of opportunity for being able to provide valid information, education, um, redirection to patients is key and you only have a small window of opportunity so getting the alert after soon after the incident provides us with that window waiting three weeks or a month later when we get um, claims data that's what we were using before it, it's kind of old to the patient so you're calling them about an incident that happened over a month ago they don't even remember um, and so now with getting the information day to day, you can contact them sooner and provide them with that information and education to make better choices and decisions. In many ways, the project did go better than we had hoped, particularly because of the way it was received by the clinicians at the primary care sites. They were just delighted to have this information. This was, they knew these events were happening, but they didn't know when, and they often didn't get the information back. And we really felt we were we were filling a need by providing this and they really embraced this. Care transitions has been a major problem and the lack of information around a care transition. And we really feel that we've come up with a intervention that could be reproduced, could be used on a national scale and really make a difference in providing better quality, better coordinated health care for a large group of patients.